going on you crazy bastards you're back here with the beer hunter for another beer of the day we are going on with Labatt Prohibition series apple harvest ale now um, this is a Canadian beer but funny thing is it is very close to Canada but it is brewed and bottled right down the road, Rochester, New York. I'm from Canastota, so it's a couple of hours away. And being that close, I don't know how you could say it's a Canadian beer. I don't know, maybe the recipe comes from Canada. I haven't really looked into it, but this bottle looked pretty badass. I had to get one. Um, it's that time of year for apple. Anyway, in central New York, we have the best apples ever. And uh, like Johnny Appleseed beer just put something out. Johnny Appleseed is 15 minutes from my house. So, pretty cool shit. I like, I love living here. It's, it's great. And uh, this is 6% alcohol. Uh, I don't understand why they put out a pre-prohibition or just prohibition series. It's not pre. It's prohibition series beer. And uh, I'm going to have to do a little more research on it just to see what else. But like they said, they just got 6%. I'm gonna give you some ratings on here on what I think. I'm gonna have ourselves a bottoms up in a moment. Give it a smell. Now Labatt, if you drink regular Labatt beer, it always has that weird metallic -y taste. I'm not a big fan of it, but I do like the Labatt Blue Light Lime. Pretty fucking good, I think. But I'm gonna do this in a mug. I'm gonna do a bottoms up in a mug. So that way we can see the color, we can see the head, we can smell the aroma from a mug instead of just out of the bottle. But it's got, I don't know man, I'll tell you in a moment. Very carbonated, thick white, white head. It looks like it's disappearing very quickly. It is uh, gold, very, very honey gold, decent. And uh, well, let's give some smell, get the aroma. And it just smells nice. You can smell the hint of apples, obviously but it smells like a fucking stale beer. That's, that's what it smells like. You ever have some old cans sitting around? You just got that smell when you go and return them if you don't rinse them. That's what I'm smelling. Yeah, it, it smells like an old fucking shitty can, but I'm gonna drink this some buck, so let's find out. light very light very light you'd think being prohibition series it'd be this strong shit nobody was fucking exporting light beer back then when they were fucking risking it running down the road bootlegging and shit so maybe they meant after prohibition series when they were making lighter beers and shit but you barely taste any apple at least it's not overpowering and sweet, which I can uh, definitely, some apple beers out there, way too fucking sweet. Oh my God, they'll give you a goddamn ulcer. Uh, some of them, you can't even, you barely drink one and it's just like, oh Jesus Christ, way too much sweetness. But now, uh, give them that, definitely not that sweet. Um, these little bottles, they're little mugs, I love the bottle, really cool, they're 12 ounces. Uh, I actually bought a single from my local tops for $1.79. You can get them uh, by the 12 pack. They come in like a cool ass little crate box. I seen those. I think they were like $13.99 a 12 pack. Come into this little crate box. Looks pretty cool. Like your bootlegging and shit. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's. I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of the taste, but it doesn't have that overpowering metallic -y taste like I, I said of Labatt and Labatt Blue Light. Those have that weird penny taste. 
Yeah, just don't like that taste at all anymore. I, I was digging it for a while. It's one of those things back in the day. I got out of high school, I got into the light years when you're just drinking. And uh, Bud Light ended up becoming one, and then I went to uh, Coors Light, and then I shifted on over to Blue Light, and uh, it just seemed like I was drinking something a little more f full, you know what I mean? Like, more body to it. And this here, though, this has a very light taste. You could drink this in a very long session, and it's fine, I'm, I'm sure after a couple, because it's not too sweet, it's perfectly fine. Your taste buds would adjust to the weird, you know, almost stale beer. It's not skunky at all, I'm not saying that. But, you know, if I were to give it on a scale, we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna change up the scale. I started reading some Beer Advocate stuff, and they go all the way up to 100, so if I, out of 100, Out of a hundred, what I would give this beer, it's something that I don't think I'll buy again. But they do have one other Prohibition Series beer. I'm probably gonna check out just because it's available, it's local, it's right here, so why not? Um, very light, so which is nice in summertime, but we're heading into fall, it could be a little heavier, that's fine. It's very, very clear, lots of carbonation. Had disappeared right away, but that's okay because I don't want to be sucking down foam and uh, I don't really care for the smell. It's just strange. It doesn't put you off completely, like you can't choke it down or nothing. So it's very drinkable and uh, the color's good. It's clear for a light beer. They should advertise it as a light beer, but, and they should also advertise it as a New York beer, not a Canadian beer because it's brewed and bottled right here in New York. Um, for me personally, the beer hunter Rob Kimball from sonsofwrestling.com. You can go check out that if you would like and check out all of my t-shirts. I'm gonna start doing some beer shirts. So any of you other guys out there doing reviews, you need designs, let me know. I'll make you something. I just hooked up, I don't know if he wants you know, I gotta work out something with him, but Louisiana Beer Reviews guy, I designed him something cool because I enjoy his videos. I just started watching him. I never even knew other people were doing beer reviews, but I, uh, I've seen some of these guys. A lot of guys out there good. Albino, Albino Rhino Reviews, beer, I like those, the beer reviews that he does. It's pretty cool. And uh, Chris Go, Chris God, or whatever the heck, Chris Got Three. I like his Bad Beer Friday, awesome shit. I really like Bad Beer Friday, that's a good one, man. Um, and this could probably go right in with those Bad Beer Fridays. <laughs> but I'm a generous guy, generous guy, I don't hate on beer. And as you can see, I'm almost done with this one. Because we had a bottoms up. And uh, continue to do so until it's gone. And I will give this a 72 on the beer scale and I'm gonna go into my beer advocate account and rate it a little bit later tonight so guys if you enjoyed the review hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button all that good shit go check out some t-shirts and if you want something if you are a YouTube personality let me know if you got an idea some people not a bad deal I design things for many other professional wrestlers out there Christopher Daniels, Kazarian from TNA. I've done a shirt for Vince Russo. Everyone knows Vince Russo, so we'll find out. Uh, eventually that should be coming out, hopefully. And um, who else have I done shirts for? I was in the works with EC3 from TNA. That one fell short, but, and uh, Petey Williams, that was from TNA, he retired. Anyway, good day, fucking drink some beer support beer and uh, I'll catch you down the line. Peace.